Okay, that's us. Okay, welcome everybody. We'll just give it a couple of minutes and get more people in and then we'll get started. Okay. I think we'll just get started and then anybody late can just join in with us. So welcome everyone to our Applicant Day webinar. So my name's Emma Johnston and I'm the Student Recruitment Officer for the Faculty of Haas. And I'd like to introduce to you Fiona Stansfield, who is the Course Director for the BA in Social Work. So you'll have an opportunity to ask any questions and there's a wee Q&A box down at the bottom of the screen along with the chat function. So if you've got any questions during the presentation, then please feel free to pop them in there and then we'll do our best to answer as many questions as we can at the end of this session. So I'll hand over to yourself, Fiona, to get started. That's great. Thank you very much, Emma. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome along to this uh, session to give you a bit more information about the BA Honours in Social Work here at the University of Strathclyde. So my name is Fiona Stansfield and my main role here with the Social Work Degree Programmes is Manager of Practice Learning. Uh, and I'm going to share a PowerPoint presentation with you today um, that should uh, give you some further information about the course. And I'd be delighted to answer any questions that you might have about the course uh, towards the end as well. So <clears throat> the BA Honours Social Work course here at the University of Strathclyde is a four year honours degree programme. And I'm going to tell you a wee bit more about um, some of the reasons why we think that studying with the University of Strathclyde and the Honours Social Work course is a good choice um, for you to consider. One of the things to say is that um, our staff uh, on the social work degree course come from a wide range of different working backgrounds. Many of them are qualified social workers and have worked as practitioners in a range of different fields, um, again, for a variety of years as well. So they come with quite a lot of experience of social work practice, as well as a research and knowledge backgrounds that they bring to the teaching and the content of the social work course, making it a very lively and informed um, social work programme here at Strathclyde. The other thing to say is that this course is a professional course and gives you a recognised professional qualification in social work. And this is really important to, to highlight. Our course is registered and regulated by the body called the Scottish Social Services Council. And they have responsibility for regulating the social work and social care workforce in Scotland, including the degree programme. And because of that, uh, at the end of this course, our students have a professionally recognised social work qualification. And this means that you can practise as a social worker. And thankfully, this also gives you the opportunity to practice social work, not just in Scotland, but in other parts of the UK as well. So that includes um, England, Wales and Northern Ireland. And many students also use that qualification to practice as a social worker in other countries beyond the UK, um, both across Europe and in other countries beyond that. So, we're a real research focused teaching school um, within the school here at Strathclyde, we host a number of different research and policy centres, including the Centre for Children, Young People and Criminal Justice, um, CELSIS, which is for looked after and accommodated children and young people, and also CERC, um, which is our criminal justice partnership as well. Uh, this is a really important part of our uh, programme here at Strathclyde as these centres 
contribute to policy and practice development in the field in Scotland. And they also contribute to the teaching and learning um, that we have within the social work degree programmes. Um, so students regularly have opportunity and access to the most up-to-date research and policy in these areas. I'll talk a wee bit more about that um, at the next slide as well. One of the things that you're probably aware of about the social work degree course is the importance of what we call placements. Um, and I'll speak more about that as well. But in order to have placements, we have developed really robust partnerships with the social work sector. Um, so this includes local authorities and um, what we call um, voluntary or third sector organisations that deliver social work and social care services to people in our communities. And these partnerships means that we have really um, well developed placement opportunities for students. And something that we find works well from this is that our graduates from the social work degree programme um, secure employment within the social work sector, um, often very quickly at the point of graduation. Around 93% of graduates tend to secure employment um, within the first six months uh, of qualifying from the course. And one of the final things to say, one of our students recently won the award of Student Social Worker of the Year. Um, there wasn't an award uh, ceremony last year um, with COVID, so the last one was in 2019. Um, and this was a recognition of the work that student social workers can achieve while they're doing their degree programmes, that they can give back to the community um, and make a difference to people's lives. And it was a real honour and privilege that one of our students won that award in recognition of the work that they had done. So I'll tell you a wee bit more, um, as I said, about some of those areas in our programme. So around research focused teaching, um, our approaches to teaching and learning that you will experience on joining the course uh, includes quite a variety. Um, for example, lectures, seminars. We use a lot of problem based learning, which involves people working together to explore problems and develop your knowledge. There's a lot of group work within our programme and we have a range of online resources, videos and skills training that takes places, place as well. We also include a range of guest lecturers um, who participate in the programme. They bring expertise in a range of different subjects um, and we find this a really valuable contribution to the course and feedback from students is always very positive about that. And it does include social work practitioners who are working in the field at the moment, and also importantly, people who use and receive services in their families, um, as important to hear the voice of those uh, who social workers work with. The research profile of our school falls into four main categories, um, and they're listed there. We have children, uh, families and young people, health and well-being, citizenship and communities, and social and criminal justice. And you'll see that this reflects the wide variety of individuals that we work with within social work and that you'll learn about during their social work course as well. So this all filters into our teaching on the modules across the course. One of the things that we work very hard for on the social work programme is the support that you receive as a student. We, the social work course is quite a small course. We have around 40 students every year in the programme. And because of that, we're able to have a very active, engaging staff team. Um, students get to know staff very well and staff get to know students very well. We have a programme of dedicated year leads um, that involves student groups and student reps um, in providing feedback and uh, sharing of information so that we can continue to learn how to, to best support and educate the students on the course. And we also have the identification from year two of what we call a personal tutor or a placement supervisor. And this individual moves with you throughout the course and is someone that you will get to know very well and who will get to know you and can support you with uh, your academic progress on the course, but also importantly supports you when you go on placement and uh, the challenges and opportunities that come 
uh, with the, the placement components of the course. I've mentioned that we have quite robust partnerships with um, the social work sector and I talked about local authorities and third sector organisations. We also have a partnership with an organisation called Learning Network West and they are a broker for placements in the west of Scotland for social work students and this is a really important um, partnership to support students get the right sort of experiences on placement to develop your skills as a social worker. So we do work with around 13 different local authorities across the west of Scotland and also over 40 different voluntary organisations that provide social work and social care and where students go out on those uh, placements as well. Through the years, we've also developed um, an approach to study abroad as well. So we have placement exchanges, arrangements with the University of Malta. This has been affected by COVID um, over the last year uh, and some of the risks that that uh, can present, um, particularly on a placement exchange. So we're in negotiations at this point in time and conversations um, to look at how we can continue with the placement exchange arrangements um, within the context of COVID and beyond. And we've also got a, a well-developing summer school with the uh, New York University, where students have had the opportunity to go to America during the summer and participate in a summer school. And students from America have came to us um, to participate in a summer school here. So we're continuing to look at those opportunities for students to, to study abroad and have those opportunities as part of your degree programme as well. So I'll say a wee bit more about what to expect while you're studying on the course. Um, I will go uh, through some of the course content and the timetable in the next few slides and show you an example of a timetable as well. Um, I'll say a wee bit at this point in time about um, assessment, um, assignment and workload, which is point three on this slide. The vast majority of assignments that our students undertake on the course are essays. As a social worker, there is a lot of requirement on social workers to write reports, um, assessments, support plans, care plans, um, and essays as an approach to assignments builds uh, our students' skills in those areas and their competence to do these things. Um, so that's one of our main approaches to assessment. But we also have presentations as part of some courses. So a bit like this, where um, students present information and that forms part of their assessment. And um, we have one or two exams on the course as well. Um, the practice learning or the placement components of the course uh, is assessed slightly different in that you're assessed in practice and your skills there, where you build a um, portfolio of evidence throughout the course programme as well. The course is a full time um, course and you'll see in the, the timetable um, how that um, is configured. But also the placement components, which are mostly situated in third year and fourth year, are full-time placements as well. Communication-wise, most of our communication with students on the course um, is through the MyPlace system, which is our uh, virtual learning site. And that has become much more important, um, as you may be aware that universities have been delivering a lot of their courses virtually during this pandemic. Um, so it's, it's a system where students can engage in their learning and materials and also with staff and other students as well. Um, when you start the course, we have an induction program for new students and we do that both school specific, but also students will take part in induction activities with the wider faculty as well. So you get the chance to, to meet those in your immediate class or cohort, as well as meet students um, in the wider community across the university too. Um, in terms of support services, again, we have a great courses support team who support as many aspects of the course and year group leaders are in place um, each year 
to ensure that there is that communication and support between students um, and the, the kind of academics and teaching staff on the programme as well. So I'll say a wee bit more about the kind of modules that are on our course. Um, and this is detailed in this slide. So for example, during year one, we have two semesters and our semesters run um, September to December for semester one. And then in semester two, it's January to April. So we have a range of models, modules that students cover on the course. <clears throat> You'll see here for year one modules such as preparing for lifelong learning, um, understanding social science and social research, psychology for social work. And then in semester two, we have values, ethics and justice, poverty, disadvantage and discrimination and individuals, communities and society. So just having a wee look at year one there, you can see that the modules that you will be undertaking on the programme um, begins to introduce you to the different knowledge that you will need to develop as a social work practitioner. And that's weaved right throughout your four years on the course. Um, there's other modules such looking at law, um, understanding risk and protection, working with diversity, working in um, global contexts. Um, so there's a range of learning um, and quite uh, exciting modules which social work students undertake to develop their knowledge and skills uh, towards becoming a social worker. You'll see we have something there called a, a CPD, which is a Continuous Professional Development Programme. And that runs right from the beginning of the degree programme, where students uh, will have the opportunity to engage with different practitioners, um, research programmes, um, different organisations that work within the social work field. And that programme uh, gives students an opportunity to see the different areas um, of social work practice as well. Uh, so again, that's quite often where external individuals come in and deliver um, content information for the students on the course. So the final thing to um, say about the course content is you'll see in year three and year four is the practice placement or practice learning um, is located in semester one and uh, of year three and of year four. And those placements are 80 days and they run slightly out with the, the traditional semester time. So it's from August to December that students undertake their placement. Um, and these are in social work and social care agencies. And we have two placements, one in your third year and one in your fourth year as well. And those will be different placement settings so that you can build your skills and knowledge in different places as well working with different individuals too. It's useful for me to highlight as well that there has been an impact on the course, um, particularly on placements through the COVID pandemic. Um, we hope that as things move forward and we continue to recover um, from, from this um, public health pandemic, that uh, the experience for students with placements will recover as well. Um, but as you can imagine, social work and social care has been um, affected quite severely by the pandemic. And uh, we're working really well to, to support um, those organisations and support our students through that as well. And if you want to ask any questions about that, please do so. So this is an example um, timetable and it's, it's from 2019 as um, last year when we started the, the new academic year, last semester, um, it was delivered virtually for students. So there was a little bit of a difference in that, that timetable. So this is just an example, would be subject to change. But you can see there the, the range of different teaching on a um, sort of traditional week that you would be in university. Um, so again, a range of lectures and seminars that take place as well. Um, and at that point in time across the university as well. Looking forward to the next academic year, um, it will very much depend on the um, pandemic in terms of COVID and the Scottish government's guidance to the higher education sector, to universities about how we will be delivering um, our courses. 
we anticipate that there will be an element of online delivery as well as opportunities for more blended and um, so some in person and some online learning um, and we will be looking for that guidance as we move closer towards the beginning of the the, the academic year as well so that's an example timetable <clears throat> The final thing I just wanted to say a wee bit more about in terms of some content, because quite often people are really interested about the placement part of the course. So you will undertake three placements. One of these is observational um, in year two, and then longer assessed practice placements in year three and four. And as I've said, they take place in a real variety of different social work settings across the west of Scotland and also across the sort of southern coast area of Scotland as well, and includes social work departments and volunteer organisations. And you'll get an opportunity to work with people in such a wide variety of settings and students um, often and regularly feedback about uh, the learning and um, the opportunities that they've had to, to work with individuals and make a difference while they're out on their placement. So, there's some bullet points in this um, slide which talks about the sort of settings that students will go to. Um, for example, local authorities, schools, prisons, hospitals, voluntary organisations, faith-based organisations, charities and private companies. And working with people who are experiencing different things in their life. So it might be in criminal justice service, working with children and young people, mental health services, drug and alcohol addiction, and working with older people, adoption and fostering, people seeking asylum. So, so there's a very wide range of different um, settings that our students experience their placements in um, and has such a great impact on students' experience on the course as well. So a few final things. Um, one was just to share with you a little bit about what students and their partners say about the course. Um, so Emma, who was a recent graduate from the social work course said that, as well as providing an insight into the sector, the course enabled me to develop a wide range of knowledge, theory and practical skills required for a career in social work. And she said that learning from the course has, has already been invaluable to her in her new job and she looks forward to using those skills further in the development of her career. Um, jo, uh, who graduated a few years ago, talked about the staff and how she found the staff to be supportive um, throughout her studies, particularly the dedicated support that she received during her placement. And down the bottom right there, Rosie talked about um, how she felt the course helped prepare her for her goal of um, becoming a children and family social worker. There was high quality placement and specialist classes. And Rosie also went to New York, which she, she had a great opportunity there. The picture on this slide is um, Callum Glasgow, who was the student social worker of the year that I spoke about earlier. Um, and as I said, it was great to have the recognition of the work that he'd done. And another thing to highlight is uh, the partners and what they say about working with Strathclyde. And they say that we deliver uh, social workers who are committed to making a difference to the people that they work with. And um, they said that their experience has been that students who come from Strathclyde are knowledgeable and motivated when they come out in placement and ready to take on the challenges of social work practice. So it's great to hear that our partners feel that the students and bring something really valuable to them out on placement as well. And quite often um, people at this stage, when they are thinking about starting their social work course, but also during their social work course, often ask um, how they might develop further learning or experience, either um, to get ready to start the course or to continue building on that. And we absolutely encourage our students to um, in continuously engage in learning and experiences and building those experiences. So on this slide is a few um, uh, websites. Uh, here at the University of Strathclyde, we've got a number of online modules with Future Learn, um, which I'm sure you'll find very interesting. And there's also an open access free learning course with the Open University, 
um, that does an introduction to social work as well that you might find useful. And when it comes to building experience, we would absolutely support students to do that, you know, either through volunteering or through paid opportunities. Students tell us that building that experience really helps them through that their social work course and helps them get ready for placement as well. So there's a few websites there and um, Volunteer Scotland, Project Scotland, which is particularly aimed at younger people um, and the Children's Hearing System Scotland, who are often looking for volunteers. Um, and right now there is uh, a lot of paid employment work working within the social work and social care field. So check out local council websites, um, uh, visit the Scottish Social Services Council web pages. Um, there's information on the University Career Services um, website as well. And we would say read about social work. Um, Community Care is a social work magazine that's available online. And um, that can sometimes be a good place to start uh, and will perhaps help you feel more ready for starting your course uh, come this September as well. So thank you very much um, for listening this afternoon. I hope I've given you a wee bit of a flavour of the social work programme here and what it looks like and some of our aims for you as students coming to study with us. And uh, we'd be happy to take any questions that you might have about the programme. Thank you very much. That was great. So yeah, if you've got any questions at all, there's a wee Q&A box just down at the bottom of your screen. Please feel free to pop in any questions there and that we'll be happy to answer. Oh, here we go. Okay, so what do you think teaching will look like in September and will it be blended learning? Yeah, thanks very much for that question. So as I was saying um, during the presentation, the, there has been a lot of uncertainty for uh, university students over the last year uh, with the COVID pandemic and you've probably heard a lot about how students learning has moved online like it has done in colleges and schools as well. Um, so we very much will be following the, um, the Scottish Government guidance um, for universities which looks at safe campus, safe students, safe staff. Um, and be taking guidance from that as to how we will be delivering our teaching for the next semester. So we envisage that some of that will be online learning um, and also we want to work towards um, more blended learning, particularly to support students in some of those classes which are skills based, which you can imagine is a big part of our course. Um, where people can come together and practice skills and develop skills as well. Um, so we hope to keep um, applicants uh, up to date with that um, as we move through this pandemic and um, over the next few months and towards the next academic year as well, when we have a clearer picture um, about what we can and can't do and to keep everyone safe as well. Thank you. Um, have students been able to undertake group work during COVID? How will that work? Will it be online? Yeah, so um, there's been some great experiences for students around um, working together during this uh, last year. So yes, it has been online. Um, so the university has invested in a number of um, online um, software to support programmes and students um, to engage together and work together on projects. And I mentioned before something we call our My Place site as well. So there's some um, good software out there that allows students to work together and collaborate together online, um, you know, to be able to put together documents and posters and um, replicate some of what we would have hoped to have done um, in a classroom setting uh, with a you know a flip chart or something like that so we can use these things online. Um, students have found that that's uh, been uh, really important for them during this pandemic to be able to do that online together um, particularly as many students have had different responsibilities you know either family or caring responsibilities um, people have had their kids off school, different things like that. So um, being able to still participate virtually 
has meant they've stayed connected with each other and um, and still been able to engage in the learning. So, uh, so yeah, so there's there's ongoing opportunity for that, um, whether it's virtual or or uh, face to face. Lovely, thank you. Uh, we've got another question. When will we receive the class reading list? And do you have any suggestions of reading I can do to prepare before September? Yeah, so we have a um, course handbook and in that handbook has a number of um, obviously details about the course and the different modules, so all the module outlines. Um, at that point in time, that's where you get uh, information about the, the different reading lists for the modules, because there are different ones for each module. Um, and very much we support students to make sure that you're able to access uh, the materials, because we have a fantastic library here at Strathclyde University. Um, you know, and, and very important to remember that, that when you become a registered student, you have access to all of that material. Um, you know, because things such as purchasing books and different materials can be expensive as well. So we very much encourage students to, to make full use of the library resources. Um, so we, we, um, we guide students towards that when you start the course. Um, for those who are really keen um, before starting the course, uh, we can um, provide you with some generalised texts around social work practice. But as I was saying there, we tend to encourage students to wait until they start the programme. So at this point in time, some of the best things to do is just to keep reading, um, you know, keep reading about social work. And um, you'll find lots of different information online about it. Um, another thing I'd say, and I know my colleagues would say as well, is keep up to date with what's happening in the world. Not necessarily always COVID related. Um, but keep up to date with that, you know, um, what's happening to the world and how it's affecting people as well. Because these are the sort of things you'll be exploring when you start the course as well, when you look at working with individuals. So, um, so yeah, have a wee look online. Websites that are good are the Scottish Social Services Council website, um, the BASWA, British Association of Social Workers, um, and also Community Care Online. Um, you'll find lots of really um, interesting articles and, and uh, pieces on there to keep you up to date with what's happening in social work. Super, thank you. Um, are all the books on the reading list available in the library? Yes, they are. Um, so it's a, absolutely, it's a requirement that they are, um, as well as access to journal articles and research articles as well. Um, there is that connection between the, the modules and reading lists with the library services. Uh, so yes, we do encourage students to read wider than that, should they wish to do so as well. Um, but yeah, it's important that the library has those resources available to students. Magic, thank you. So if anyone has any more questions, just pop them into the Q&A. And if not, I think that's probably as wrapping up for today um i think that's probably going to be us for the day so just thank you very much everyone for participating with us today and we hope that we'll be able to see you on campus hopefully in september fingers crossed okay thank you very much everybody thank you thank you